guys welcome to another full body workout and um, today all you need is a mat and one of these so a brain like a brush stick brush shaft i think it's called um so i've taken the end off mine you can keep it on if you want but this for per video purposes um i've taken the end off so this is all you need it's going to add us a little bit of resistance and we're going to try some different moves and um, that we've never done before so kind of acts as a bar for us so we're going to get warmed up so um i'll do a quick warm up with you and i'll chat you through the exercises so what you put overhead um and then you're going to pull down with the arms come up with the knee we're going to do a bit of full body a little quick core blast at the end all using the broom um, and then we'll do a quick cool down as well so Full package again today. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay, I want you to put it behind and I want you to twist that core. Three. Two and one. Okay, now I want you to do kicks, hamstring kicks. So I want you to kick up and bring that brim down towards the leg. You can do it without the broom and just do your hamstring kicks if you wish. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, we're just going to start from the start again. So we're just going to repeat those exercises a couple of times. Get the heart rate up. Get the joints moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, core twists. Keeping that core fully engaged. Three, two, and one. Okay, hamstring kicks. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last set. Let's go. Knees first. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. This time I want you to put it behind. And I want you to do opposite arm, opposite leg. Twist and round, twist and round. Good. Just getting a slightly different twist from before. Engaging those lower abs this time, warming them up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, give me a few of those core twists that we did at the start. Three, two, and one. All right, hamstring kick. Good. I'm warm already. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice. Okay, take a quick drink. Okay, so we have got four different sets to go through. Um, we're going to do 15 of each exercise because it's light resistance um, and really focus on technique rather than just trying to get through the reps. Okay, so we want to have good form. We want to have good technique the whole time. I'll chat you through how to do each one. So first one, so it's all supersets, so four supersets. So the first one is back squat and then strict shoulder press. So 
What you're going to do is you're going to put that brush behind your shoulders, setting them just about, about shoulder height. I don't know if you can see that. Just about shoulder height across your shoulder blades, not on your neck, because that's going to hurt yourself. So down a bit, just behind your shoulders. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go down into a squat and then back up and squeeze those glutes. So it's acting like a bar for you. If you've never done a bar, used a bar before um, in the gym, then this is a first, good first experience for you. I find it really helps me having a bar on my back um, to keep my back really straight. Um, I just find my posture is much better um, when I have a bar. So this is good for posture and technique while we don't have a lot of weight at home. Okay. I have no idea how many, I'll say eight. Nine, squeezing those glutes at the top, sitting back, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, good. Okay, so strict press then. You can either do this from the front or from the back. So I'm gonna show you both and then you can do what you wish. For the second set, we're gonna do stuff from the front. So I'm gonna to try to do this all back. So I just want you to bring in your hands a little bit more. So instead of being right out there at the back, whoo, um, I want you to come in a little bit. And you're just gonna push up overhead and then bring back to shoulder height. So pushing up overhead and bringing back down and setting on those shoulders. Good. So this is kind of like shoulder press that we've done before with our dumbbells. And only the arms are working. Only the arms, everything else stays really still. So core tight, knees soft, and feet shoulder width apart. Just pressing up and back down. Okay, let's say that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, good. Okay, back on your back. We're gonna go back into those squats. So hands back out a little bit, a bit wider than they were. Feet shoulder width apart. Toes pointing out, down you go. Squeeze those glutes, one, two, Three, four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, good, five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15, straight into those um, strict presses. So up and down. I forgot to bring my hands in, sorry. Up and down. Good. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Watch the lights. Oops. Eight, nine, 10, 11, good, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, we're going straight into the last set, arms out a little bit more, back into squats, let's go. So we're not having rest between sets because there is not much resistance, so this just, the broom just helps us with technique, posture so you'll get a break in between supersets rather than um, repeating each set make sure you're really squeezing at the top good all right five more Three, two, and one. Good. All right, shoulder press. 
Let's go. One, two, three. I feel that on my shoulders already. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nine, core tight. Ten, eleven, twelve. 13, two more, 14, last one, 15, good. All right, okay, take a quick drink and I'll show you the next two exercises. Quite similar to those first two, all right? They're just alternatives, slight variations of the first two. So this time we're gonna do a front loaded squat. So you're bringing that bar just above your chest, about just about shoulder height, and hands, again, probably just like you were on the squat, just about here. Um, and what you're gonna do is this time you're squatting down and pushing back up. Squatting down and pushing back up. So it doesn't necessarily have to sit on you, you're just holding it here and pushing back up. Second one then is push jerk. So um, push, press. Sorry, push press. Got so confused there. I was like, that is definitely not what's coming next. Push press. So what you're doing is you're going to hold here and you're doing an, a shoulder press again, but you're using your lower body to get it over your head. So you're giving yourself a little push and back down. So light bending those knees, pushing it up. So giving yourself a little bit extra momentum just to get it over your head. All right, so when you have weight and you're trying to get it over your head, then that helps you push that weight up. So just good for technique, good for trying out different exercises so that when you can get back to the gym, or if you do have weights, then you can um, um, do it properly and with technique. You can do this with dumbbells if you wish. You just be holding them here and pushing up. So if you have dumbbells, that's totally fine to do it as well. So let's do front squat, 15. Let's go, so down and up, squeezing the glutes. Down and up, squeezing, good. Three, four, five. Again, keeping that technique, because you have a bar in front of you, you're not going to bend over, you're not going to arch that back. So really good for technique, really good for form. We can get sloppy, we don't have weight, so this is really good just to correct that. Okay, 14 and 15. Let's step back so you can see. So, slight bend and push. Good, back down. Slight bend and push. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, last one, up. Okay, so we repeat. Hey. Uh, front squat, hold in here, hands on you go, squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, push press. Pushing up, slight bend, pushing up. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Okay, one more time then, from the top, front squat, hold in here, let's go. One, two, three, squeeze in those glutes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good, okay. Last ones for push press. Slight bend, push. Good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, good, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, good. Okay, quick drink, I'll show you the next two. Sorry for the interruption there. <laughs> I, thought there I thought there was nobody here, but someone came home, so sorry. Um, okay, overhead squat is first. So you're gonna hold this bar over your head and you're squatting down and back up. Squatting down and back up. Okay, so that's your overhead squat. Then we're going to snatch. So we are starting down here and you're going to come up and underneath the bar and back up. So you're coming down, up, underneath the bar. All right, so I'll talk you through it as we go. Let's do those overhead squats first. So nice overhead. Squat and down in three, two, and one. Down and up. Down and up, good. So again, just another variation of the squat, holding that weight overhead. Quads are starting to burn. Two more. Good. Okay, we're only going to do 10 of these. So kind of different. We haven't done them before. So coming down, back nice and straight. Pushing those hips back. You're coming up and landing underneath the bar. That's one. Come back up. Down you go. Bringing it up. Underneath the bar. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five oh, the quads are starting to burn. Six. Seven. 
8, 9, last one, 10. Obviously when you have weight, there's a lot more, it's slow, it's controlled, but when you don't have weight we're just looking on the technique, so um, it's not so bad. You can go a bit faster through them. Okay, back to those overhead squats and roasting on Up and over and squat and down. Good. Squeeze in. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, I'm starting to get wobbly. Ooh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Alright, snatches. Let's go. <laughs> Down. Up. Four, five, six, that jump killed you, wasn't it? Seven, eight, nine, last one. Okay, let's just stretch out those quads a second. One more of these, and then we've got one more set. So, you're almost there. Okay. Overhead squat, let's go. 15, 10 snatches, and then we'll change the exercise. I'm, I'm so tired now. Let's go. One. Two, three, keep squeezing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, good. All right, 10 snatches. Then we've got two more exercises. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. You see them doing this in the Olympics. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. All right, take a break. I'm wrecked. Whew. Okay. Last superset. We've got push jerk and a hand clean. We've never done these before. So we're going to do eight of each. These are new moves. So let's just get the hang of them. So push jerk. Is we're starting here and you're wanting to get it overhead with a jump so this would normally be quite a heavy weight so you're starting here and you're pushing all right starting here and push you're landing in the squat with an overhead 
hand clean then is oh, you're starting here you're bringing it up and you're catching it in a squat and then you're coming back up so the most movement is down up back down so the most of the movement is you going from here you're pulling up and down catch it in the squat so again when you have heavy weight it's all about the up and down so that's kind of your idea so we're going to start with push jerk we're going to do eight of each so starting here pushing overhead landing in a squat above your head so push back down push back down bring those feet back in sorry i should say that to shoulder height, push, up, feet back in, down, push, up, okay, three more, seven, last one, eight, Good. Okay, hand clean. So pulling that weight up, shoulder width apart, pulling up, catching in the squat, and up, squeeze, and down. Pulling up, catching in the squat, up, and down. Good. Okay, number three. Pulling up, catching in the squat, and down. Good. Four. Five, get three more. It's hard when it's not heavy. Six, because you're really thinking about what you're doing. Seven, which is what I want you to do. And eight. But when I do it now, it kind of feels weird because it's not heavy. Okay, let's do perch jerk again, starting here. So again, feet are shoulder width, where you're jumping out. So you're going to come back up, bring it to your shoulders, bring those feet back to shoulder width. All right, I should have said that at the start, sorry. Okay, second set, let's go. Push, up, bring in. Push, up, bring in. Two, good. Three, that's four, you're halfway. Five, six, seven last one eight good okay let's see hand clean catching in the squat let's go up catch up catch good three try to do that little roll four it's hard make it seem like it's heavy five Six, seven, last one, and eight, good, okay, last set, those push jerks, getting ready in three, two, and one, up, bring in, two, three, four, get those arms right up, come on, five, Six, seven, last one, eight, good. All right, hand clean, let's go. Really, down low, pushing up, good. Three, four, four more, five, good. Six, last one, or last two. Seven, last one. Oh, eight. Good, well done, take a quick drink. Just gonna finish with two exercises for the core, and that's you done. So, oh, on the mat, with your broomstick. So we're gonna do a slow crunch. 
and then we're going to do up and over. So, first one, I want you to sit with your feet on the ground, slight bend. You're going to put your bar on your knees or your stick on your knees. And what you're going to do is just going to roll very slowly down, coming down into like a V with your back just as far as you can go. You'll feel those abs shaking. And I want you to push back up. So holding it there, coming down nice and slowly as you reverse back, you're pulling that down. And when you probably get to about halfway, you should feel the shake. And then just push back up. Whew. Nice and slow. Hold when you get to that shake. And then push back up. So for me, it's here. I'm holding two, three, and back up. Okay, so we're really working on that eccentric movement. Push back up. This things in the way. Right. Good. Okay. I want four more. Push back up. Good. Three more. Down push. Good. Two more. Down, down, down. One more. Good. Okay. Now, I want you to keep yourself in that position. And what you're going to do is we're leaning back slightly. You're going to put those Put the broom over your legs. So you're bringing your legs up, tucking them in, putting it underneath, stretching out into like a V sit, then bringing them back in. Okay, you can set the feet down there and then go again. You can try and keep the feet up the whole time. This is hard. Now, if you don't want to do it with the bar, just go to your V-set, put your arms behind you, then stretch out and stretch back up. Stretch out and stretch back up and use your arms to help you. If not, try a couple with the broom. Give me three more. Two. And one. Ah. Good. All right, have a break. Okay, slow crunches. We're going to eat. Let's go. Nice and slowly. Push back up. Hold them for two seconds. When you get to that shake, push back up. Now you might find that the shake is going to take you longer to get to this time, so a bit lower back, back up. Good. If this is too sore on the lower back, just go to regular crunch. So from the floor, crunching up. Okay, I've lost count. Last one. Good. Okay. Back to up and over. Get ready. Three, two, and one. We're doing eight. So do your B sits if you want. One. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> two. Three, four, good, four more, five, six, seven, oh. and eight, good, 
All right, just to finish, we're gonna do 15 twists. So I want you to go from side to side, side to side. Two, three, touch and down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. All right, we're done. Let's do a quick stretch. Okay, we're going to stretch out those hips. It's my height. So up you go into plank position, pulling one foot forward and sitting there. Really stretching out that hip. Okay, other side. Woo! Get one more each side. Last one. Good, now go back to that front leg, first leg. Drop that back leg. I want you to come up, arms overhead, pushing forward into that lunge. Three, two, and one. Now I want you to swap over. So bring that other leg forward, drop in the back leg. Hands up, pushing into that lunge. Three, three, two and one good okay now grab that room i want you to have hands up i want you to twist over to one side leaning over feeling that stretch down one side and back over other side good give me two more on each side Good, now I want you to go forward, pushing forward, pushing forward. Head down, pushing forward, good. Now I want you to go back, come down as far as you can. Ooh. And back over the top and down. Over, go as far down as you can. And back over the top, good. Two more, stretching out those shoulders, giving them a good full rotation. One more. Nice. Good, all right, hands behind the back, pushing out, stretching that chest. Oh, stretching your head at the same time, stretching out that neck, other side. Good, all right, um, arms really quick. Other side. Let's go up and over. She did a lot of pushing overhead. So this triceps got a good bit of work. Other one. Good. All right, let's stretch out those legs. Let's do hamstrings, so down you go. Touch the floor if you can. Come up. Quads. This is just a quick stretch, so please stretch out more if you feel stiff. Other side. Last one. Three, two, and one. And you're done. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, drink plenty of water. Give yourself an extra stretch if you need to. And thanks for joining. See you soon.